but by practice, by training, by performance. And I think we are trying to do that through the Cricket Foundation. With this institution, which has, I understand, automatic bowlers. I have faced pretty difficult bowlers in my life, not only at cricket, but even in other fields of human activity, who do not follow any rules, but are most expert in the googly style of trying to get you out. But this bowl, I understand, is better than them all. I think time we introduce this performer to the political field. <laughs> I was asking Mr. Gowan in the Niagara whether you don't have automatic batsmen. Because if you have an automatic bowler and automatic batsman, you don't need any other human players. But I think the human element is the most interesting in the cricket <coughs> game. We watch cricket hour after hour, see batsmen refusing to get out, bowlers trying all their wires, bowlers being changed, and suddenly the whole game changes in a few overs and it becomes the most interesting match that one has watched. That, I think, is one of the interesting features of cricket, which I do not find in any other game. That's why, though it takes such a long time, in this world where people wish to hurry in doing everything, cricket still has its attractions. I would like to mention to the cricketing world, do not think that everything is Okay. I remember when a few months ago India won the World Cup, there were celebrations all over India. The team was welcomed and carried shoulder high. They were so hilarious that they ended in riots. This time India didn't do so well. And there was a spate of criticism all over India, in the press and in parliament saying that cricket should be abolished. You may face the same fate in our country. We also have a very independent press. We have a parliament. I see many members here. Not all of them are cricketers, like myself. So you can face opposition in the years to come. But remember, play the game. And play it according to the rules. I learned that lesson in school, and I try my best to play cricket, politics, whatever game, if there are rules according to those rules. If there are no rules, I try to make the rules myself. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we must thank the minister, Mr. Gamli Sanayaka, for taking all this interest, collecting money, devoting his time, I know he has very little time to devote to this form of activity, but devoting whatever spare time he has to sponsor one of the great games that humans have devised, the game of cricket. And may I wish you all luck in the future, and may I hope that one day Sri Lanka will beat not only the United Kingdom, not only Australia, but the home of our sporting Gary Sobers. West Indies. Ladies <laughs> <laughs>